just come back from holidays. Um, I was away for a month over in Vietnam, Hong Kong, and India. And yeah, we were actually ahead of the coronavirus disaster that was following us. So we were lucky to get back before Australia's closed, closed its borders. And we are now in 14 day isolation at home. So I uh, can't go for a ride on my bike. So I thought I'd just finish off a couple of little jobs. I've had the sensor come in for the uh, radiator cooling fan. And uh, I just thought I'd go through, show you how I wired the bike and how to uh, fit the uh, radiator conversion when you're using a motor gadget. I'm upgrading the, uh, the cooling fan system to an electric fan. Now what the guys are using is an electric fan off a Kawasaki ZX-6R. Uh, uh, I got mine off YouTube, uh, not YouTube, um, eBay. And uh, yeah, we uh, basically you uh, cut off the uh, camshaft. I've plugged, taken the uh, taco drive out and plugged that. Okay, here's the uh, Kawasaki ZX-6 uh, electric fan. <coughs> it comes with these lugs on it here, here and here. So all I did was uh, basically cut them off, cut these off, and if you get a 20 mil diameter by 25 mil long male female rubber buffers, available at most bearing shops, you can just fit them into the, the arm of the, uh, of the fan like that. This one I just a little bit need a little bit longer just have a nut underneath there but uh, that comes out quite neat. Then we can uh, fit this into the fan housing. All I've got to do now really is drill the holes and that will be mounted in there. Get the, the right clearance off the, the camshaft and the fan will be in there like that. Okay, the uh, fan is now mounted into the uh, original cowl with the uh, three rubber um, buffers. Uh, it's all ready to be wired up when we get to that. Looking at the hardware in the electric fan circuit, uh, up on handlebars we have a manual switch which is a, a normally open switch. Uh, in this circuit, the switches don't have to be heavy duty. They can be very, very small switches if you if you want to, because you're only switching the neutral to the to give an input into the motor gadget. So, switch on, then comes on. Switch off if if ever you need a manual function. The other switch uh, is mounted into the uh, radiator hose that comes out of the thermostat housing, and it is a normally open switch that closes at 95 degrees C so uh, that gives us an automatic function to the fan control but it is, it is in uh, parallel with the, the manual switch so we have two switches the manual switch and an automatic switch for the radiator cooling fan control we have um, uh, installed the sensor into this pipe which uh, the sensor is a, a normally open sensor and it closes at 95 degrees centigrade. So that's into the, uh, the radiator pipe. Here's the connection down to the fan itself, the fan motor. Okay, I've got a amp meter on the um, fan motor. I just want to check the amperage that this motor is actually drawing. Motor gadget output is capable for 10 amps. Just looking at the inputs and outputs on the um, on the fan circuit, we've got um, the input, the green wire coming into auxiliary one, and the output wire to the motor is on auxiliary one there output 
So just click the switch. Auxiliary one input comes on. Auxiliary one output comes on. Now we're drawing uh, 0.3 of an amp on the motor. This output's capable of 10 amps. So it's well within limits. Okay, now I'm just uh, checking the direction of the fan motor. You want the air being sucked through the radiator and out the back of the bike. So let's just check that. See that the ribbon is being sucked into the fan. So it's going the right way. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, and that's it for getting a uh, Kawasaki ZX6R electric fan into a Honda CX500 uh, using motor gadget. Um, fairly simple circuit, uh, just two, a manual and an automatic switch. Um, it is only switch in neutral, your, your out, outputs uh, rated at 10 amps, the motor drawing 0.3 of an amp. Um, one other thing I should have mentioned is that if you don't want to do the manual switch, you can use auxiliary uh, 2 on the motor gadget because uh, it does have a, a, a function for an electric fan. But the th problem with that is that it comes on virtually straight away and it might switch off, I'm not sure, uh, after the, uh, the motor stopped. Um, but for me, um, I don't really want it coming on when, it, when, it, when it's cold in the morning. You want your motor to warm up to a certain temperature without the fan on and then kick in. So the switch I've got comes in at 95. Uh, the motor's running around about 100 degrees, 105 degrees centigrade. So good luck, guys.